So, Jump Force Season 2 DLC has been a hot topic in the Jump Force community thus far. We have everyone discussing Yuruichi possibly joining the roster of Jump Force Season 2 DLC characters. You have that small camp that still wants to hold out hope for that character, and you have the rest of the community that pretty much recognizes all the reasons as to why Yuruichi cannot be included into Jump Force, which is what we're going to be going over today. Now, before we get into it, since I already you know you're gonna love the content from the god of the fgc and the anime fgc go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the notification bell to get all the new anime info and discussions anime games rank battles and news covers from games like dragon ball xenoverse 2 dragon ball fighters once justice 2 and of course jump force from the youtube channel where the quality is in a name itself is perfection the natural selection of anime anime gaming and anime content here on on YouTube okay so one of the first things we're actually gonna cover is how people are saying that she's the only choice because she's shorter than Ichigo and her hairstyle changes when she takes an awakening form because from the alleged data mine which still hasn't had any validity to me I mean this is a random data miner you know the only person I trust is Sergio M3 he's the only one that has clout in the anime anime gaming community as a reliable source for data mines uh, the person said because this person's hair changes and they're shorter than Ichigo they're the only ones that could possibly be the uh, character select for this DLC selection. Now I'm going to be covering as to why that's wrong because there's one other character that fits that criteria being shorter than Ichigo and her hair would actually change shape during her awakening state and that character is Orihime. Now, it, like, I love how people want to jump to uh, Yuruichi, but no, Orihime. Orihime already covers all the other criteria. She doesn't have any outfits currently in Jump Force, so she doesn't uh, ding that bell. She could already bring something new into the game. Her hair would change because when her little hair bows come off, her hair would slightly change, maybe levitate or something as she uses that ability. So due to those two things, and she's shorter than Ichigo, due to all those things, three things she would actually cover and satisfy all the criteria necessary to fit that mold of character in Jump Force. Also Yuruichi wasn't even that much shorter than Ichigo to begin with like I think she was one like she wasn't like super tall like Andre the Giant or anything but I think she matched Ichigo in height so I don't know why people are pulling that hard to try to force her to fit into that mold or criteria where Orihime already satisfies that. The next point to prove as to why Orihime is going to be the character instead of Yurichi due to the whole height and hair change thing is that Orihime is just the more popular character. She's consistently outranked Yurichi in the popularity polls. So, like, if they're going to pull anyone as the female character that's shorter than Ichigo, it's going to be Orihime. She just fits right now. I mean, you look at everything else, everyone else they have. Uh, Orihime is the only relevant one missing, you know, due to the impact and importance she has to the manga, the anime. It would just make more sense from a marketing standpoint to add the more recognizable character. I mean, Orihime is damn near the mascot character for Bleach, and besides Ichigo himself. So, uh, like, there's so many more reasons as to why Orihime would be included instead of Yuruichi that it is a shame. Now, finally, the last reason, and we kind of touched on this earlier, is the whole outfit thing. Now, a lot of people have hold, held this as a consistent uh, rule that if the character has their outfit in the game, they're not going to be included as DLC later on. And Yuruichi, uh, fortunately, already has her outfit in the game, so she's not going to be a DLC character. That That's just it. Like, I'm sorry, her, her fate is sealed. For so many reasons but uh the outfit one was just like the the final nail in the coffin now look, let's look at the other characters now you really think they're gonna break the rule for your Weechi when they wouldn't break the rule for shanks like shanks is a incredibly popular and important character to one piece but his outfit is in the game right and they won't include him it would be awfully easy for them to go ahead and do a character model 
and just fill out some combos because I think they already have what would be his like super moves or his abilities in the game. So all they would have to make is an ultimate and maybe, you know, tinker around with some combos. You think they're not gonna put Shanks in and break the rule for him? Like there's so many other characters that they would break the rule for before Yuruichi that it doesn't make sense. That's just one primary reason right there. Now, I know I said finally earlier, but something else that I just thought about, Yuruichi would bring nothing new to the table, moveset-wise. Like, you look at everything that she does, Kiyua already does it and does it better. Like, all of his lightning-based techniques, like, I'm sorry. Like, she would fulfill no purpose, no role. She would bring nothing new. And if you've been paying attention to Jump Force DLC, their, their you know top priority has been to try to include new characters new concepts you know bring some new you know abilities that function differently than what we already have access to in the game so you look at what Yurichi would actually be able to do it, it's pretty much next to nothing like would she bring stun lightning to the game kill you already does and I mean he has his little stunning lightning bolt that can reset for combos you know set up for some nasty ult setups and whatnot so you know check that off she doesn't she wouldn't fulfill that role he already has like a cinematic technique so she wouldn't fulfill that role like what is it with that yeah, Yurichi would do that Kiyua doesn't already do and that the CACs don't already have access to yeah you can't you uh, don't hey hey don't don't sit there jamming on your keyboard you know there's nothing else that Yuruichi would bring to the table. I mean, and really just think about it, if they did put her in the game, she would be so watered down and censored. Like, you know how Yuruichi looks. You really, you really want them to take the time to do some censored up? <sighs> no, no, no. Like, I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the, uh, the developers, the you know the programmers they they just don't even want to waste the time because they would be disgusted with what they would have to cover up just to have a international release of this DLC character. I know you like today's Jump Force Season 2 Yuruichi discussion video for Jump Force Season 2 DLC. Go ahead and press that subscribe button with utter perfection, the natural selection, and watch some of the other videos linked down below in the playlist that pops up on your screen right now. Click that notification bell to get all the top anime, anime fighting games, and anime games information here on the place where the quality is in the name itself. Perfection, the natural selection.